Hey guys, and welcome to the ultimate Resident Evil games tier list. I'm your host, Vash, back by unpopular demand. What's up? It's your boy. And uh, today we're going to make the ultimate Resident Evil games tier list that you can't argue with me about because I'm right and you're wrong. I'm kidding. Um, if you would like to participate, I will have the tier list in the description. So if you want to make your own tier list and screenshot it and send it to me on Twitter, or you can uh, go in the comment section and give me your tier list. Now remember, this is all my opinion. Everyone's opinions are different, uh, but I just thought it would be fun to do this because uh, I did this on stream a couple months ago and it was a lot of fun. So I thought that maybe it would be fun to do it with you guys. Let's hang out and talk about Resident Evil for the next like 20 or so minutes. So how this is going to be formatted, we're going to do Resident Evil 1 through Village first. We're going to tier those up. And then we're going to go back and I'm gonna think about it, give it a second look. And then after that, we will then do the remakes. We will do remakes. We have four of those. And then we'll look back over it. And then after that, we'll do spinoffs. We'll do spinoffs and all the extra content. There are actually a couple of games that I haven't really played. So I don't even think I have like an opinion on them. So let's get started. Resident Evil 1. The one that started it all, baby. I give that bad boy an 8. An 8. An A. An, an A looks like an 8. I give that bad boy an 8. Why? Resident Evil 1 has a very special place in my heart. It is very nice to me, personally. <laughs> it's very special to me. Um, it has some of the, the greatest voice acting you could ever hear, ever, in a video game. And it is just... It's... I don't know. It's the one that started it all. I can understand not liking it because the controls are janky and stuff, but... It's the game that started it all, and I still think it holds up pretty good. Not as good as Remake, but I I think it's, you know, totally fine to play if you want to go back in time to the, you know, the good old days. Alongside that, I might as well put uh, Deadly Silence on here. Deadly Silence is just a DS version of Resident Evil 1. Um, I'll put that at B, because for some reason, they somehow made the voice acting worse. Like, it, I'm dead serious. Look it up. Look it up. They re they redid like the majority of the voices I think are the same, but they re dubbed Richard in this game, and it's so bad. You haven't I had no clue that they could make it worse, but somehow they surprised me and made it worse. But oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, hmm. You know what? I'll put it up here because they added some stuff in that game that did make it a little bit more fun. Even though the voice acting is hot ass, even hotter ass, they added some other stuff in there that actually makes it pretty pretty legit. All right. I'll say it's up there. I'll say it's up there. It's about the same. It, what it what it loses, it also added to make it a little bit better. So I'll, I'll give it that. Resident Evil 2. Goaded. Do I even have to explain? Resident Evil 2 is another game that's extremely <laughs> important to me. <laughs> it was the first video game I ever bought with my own money as a child. I was like seven when this game came out or eight. I think I was eight. It was the first game I ever saved my money for. I had a weekly allowance of five bucks that my dad would give me every Friday. And I saw this game in a magazine. I was like, dad, don't give me the money because I'm going to spend it. Wait until I have enough to buy this game and then give it to me. And it took, I, I think the game was $40 then. So it took me a couple of months. And then finally he was like, you got enough money. Let's go get it. And we went and got it and I played it. And I had, I had nightmares the first night I played that game. It was so scary to me. So I had to give it a little bit of a break, but eventually I started getting used to it. Resident Evil 2 is phenomenal to me. I absolutely love it. It was also the first video game that I played that had stories intertwining with each other. Like when you play the different scenarios and how they kind of like interact and things change and stuff like that. It just blew my mind as a kid when I played RE2. And still till this day, I think it's a very fantastic game. It's, I love it. I absolutely love it. Mwah. Chef's Kiss, S Plus, the Goated, the best. RE3. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I'll drop it in A. You know why? When I was a kid, I did not like RE3. I did not like it. I don't like Nemesis. I still don't like Nemesis. I did not like him. I thought he was annoying and frustrating to deal with. I did not like being chased all the time. I didn't like that RE3 was so short because it is much shorter than RE2. Uh, it was one of those games that like I beat it once or twice and then I never really played it again. Uh, but I did play Mercs a lot. RE3 was the first Mercs I ever played. Uh, but it's different from today's Mercs. RE3's Mercs were more 
like you get from point A to point B with different characters with different loadouts and then you can like save hostages and help people to get more points and to get like extra items and stuff. And that was super addicting. I spent so many like just hours and days, weeks playing Mercs. It's, it was so much fun. And like over time, I've learned to appreciate RE3, even though I don't really like it that much. And the funny thing is when, when I recently moved, I was cleaning up all my games and like putting them in boxes and stuff. And I realized that I, I own like five copies of this game and I don't even like it that much. <laughs> I was like, why do I own this so much? And I think it's because like I had my original copy when I was a kid. And then I think I rebought it because I thought I lost it and then I found it. So then I had two and then I bought it on GameCube and then I bought it on PC. So I don't own the, the Dreamcast version. I think it's the only version of RE3 I don't own. That's a lot of copies of a game that I apparently don't really like that much, but I think it's, it's over the years, I've really come to appreciate RE3. I really do. I think it's a good game. It's, uh, it's not my favorite, but I think it's pretty, pretty legit. All right. Resident Evil, no, I'm kidding. Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Somebody's like, <gasps> kitschy. RE4, what a video game, huh? Do I even have to talk about it? Of course I do, because that's what I'm. That's what I do. I talk. That's my. That's my superpower. Talking. RE4, man. When that game first was like announced and I saw it, I was like, man, this looks like ass. There's no zombies. Boo. Who would want to play this? This isn't Resident Evil. I was so bummed about it and so salty. I was like 14, 15 when it came out. I was so angry. I went to Blockbuster and I traded in some games and I can't remember what, whatever came out in like March or May, whenever RE4 came out, I was trying to trade in to get it and they didn't have it. So I didn't want to go home without a video game. So I picked RE4 and I got home and I, I fell in love with it. I was wrong. 15 year old me was wrong. Ain't that a bitch. Then it ended up being just like one of the greatest, one of the goats. RE4 is a definitely a video game that will be around for a very long time. I think RE4 then, later and now and forever will be a good game and a fun game it's just well designed and it's so much fun and i think like anyone can play it and enjoy it it's it's definitely goaded up there baby two leons you see the what is it the pattern resident evil 5 i think i'll give resident evil 5 a b why not an a you say hmm because RE5 is one of those games that you can't really fully 100% enjoy without playing with someone. You can enjoy it, but it's so much better playing with someone else. And like when it comes to co-op games, they have that whole like, you know, like, oh, it's better with friends. It's like, dude, anything like you can just look at paint dry with friends and that's fun. Like people go to like kickbacks and parties where they just sit around and look at each other and talk with their solo cups and that's fun. Like, of course it's gonna be fun when you're playing with someone else, so. Like RE5, when I first beat the story mode, I n didn't really play it again. I didn't really care for it or enjoy it because I just found the AI really frustrating and I didn't really have many people to play with. So I just played the shit out of Mercs, man. That's another, uh, that's like RE3, dude. I sat there and I played the shit out of Mercs. Speaking of Mercs, I didn't even mention that RE4's got some goaded Mercs, but RE5's got some, I think that's when Mercs was at its best, to be honest. Four was good, five was on another level, dude. Five's Mercs was, was wildin like mercs was good i'm even thinking of pumping it up to eight just because of the mercs but i but that's not the game <laughs> like the, you know the regular game they, uh, it's gotta be mercs i'll think about it when we review it i'll think about it but if i enjoyed the story mode better i think this would be a little bit higher for me but that's just me i just the co-op co-op is fun and all but to me personally i i don't give a shit about co-op so I, I'm a, I'm a single player gamer, so I'm not a really big co-op dude. RE6, huh? Where are you down here? You son of a bitch. Where are you? There you go. Ugh. That's another one of those, it's fun to play with friends. You know what else is fun with friends? Cocaine. But I, I don't know, I don't like it. I mean, it's fine, it's whatever. I don't care, does it matter? I think I would have been happier with just Leon's campaign. If the game was just Leon's campaign, it'd be fine. This game is so fat. Like there's like what, five campaigns? No, four campaigns. Cause there's Leon, Chris, and Stouffer's. What is it? What's his name? Jake? I don't know why I called him Stouffer's. Like the, <laughs> like the frozen dinner? <laughs> Stouffer's? Yeah. <laughs> and then Ada, number four. Yeah, dude, I think each like, campaign is like six to nine six to nine six to eight hours nine maybe ten depending how fast you move 
most people aren't super fast if you're playing it for your first time so like you're guaranteed like a 40 hour video game so it was kind of long and there was a lot of game there and capcom really tried to please everyone with like leon being for the ogs Chris's campaign being for people that liked RE5. Jake's was for like RE3 fans with Usanok chasing around. You stank chasing you around. They really tried to just appease everyone and ended up not appeasing anyone. RE6 is fun if you and your friend have like an extra 20 bucks laying around and are really bored over the weekend and want something to do for the weekend. That's what it is. But the thing is, is that like, I think five is more fun. I guess, I don't know. You get more game with six. But to me, like, more game doesn't mean, like, hooray, more, you know? Ooh, more rice with no butter. More uh, toast with no jam, you know? Like, hooray. Like, I think I think 5 is more of a fun uh, co-op experience. The Mercs in 6 is pretty good, though. Not as good as 5. But I will say RE6 Mercs is pretty decent. I did play a bit of the Mercs, though. Quite a bit. RE7, huh? RE7. Hmm. I think re7 is an 8 maybe a b maybe a b ah, it's hard re7 was a perfect step in the right direction going from this mess going back to seven the funny thing is like re6 is like one of the top selling resident evil games of all time why didn't capcom just do another one of those it made them a lot of money it, it, it's very respectful that they were like you know what? let's go back and bring it let's bring it back to the resident part of evil and stick you in this spooky goofy ass house in illinois or wherever they're from the bayou and all that re7 when i first saw it and i saw that it was in first person i was so not down the clown with it i do not like first person games mostly in general and i really don't like first person horror games i hate them i do not like them at all and when i saw that this was in first person i was not uh too excited about it but being someone that enjoys resident evil i gave it a shot and it was fun it was pretty good the only thing that sucks is the boat once you hit the boat in re7 in my opinion that's when it goes downhill it doesn't go downhill to the point where it's like oh gross unplayable but it does you know dock it a couple of points you know but overall just the the beginning of it is so strong with jack baker like the beginning of that that's some good shit with me in there cutting your arm off and stuff like that whole opening and like scene is so intense it's really good like the be the first half of the game is phenomenal like i tell you like once you get to the boat like when you're just doing the house the whole house in general is just really good and then once you get to the boat and then you play as mia and then you're, it's gross and then from that point on it's just kind of okay but up to that point it is pretty good so yeah i think of it and then it came with dlc that was all right and then you can punch stuff and blow them up that's pretty pretty good resident evil Village, huh to tell you the truth, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did not like this game that much. I'm gonna give it a, it's an okay. I don't think it's worse than six. I don't think it's better than six either. It's definitely a game that I low key, I would not really play for fun ever again. Third person made it a little bit better because I, I like I mentioned before, I just don't really like first person. But I think my biggest issue with, with Village is that I just don't uh, like Ethan or his bitch ass family. We have to deal with him twice, two games in a row. And like, I just don't care, you know? Like, I just, ugh. I just didn't like it. I, it wasn't for me. I did not enjoy it. Um, Lady D was off the chain. I thought it was crazy that they promoted this game like crazy. Like, it was going to be like Lady D kind of chasing you the whole game. And they really hyped her up. For her to be gone in the first, like, three hours of the game. And that's it. Like, they really blew their load with that one, huh? But... Even the Mercs in this game was kind of lame. With the with the DLC, they they made the Mercs more fun with Eisenberg and Lady D. The Mercs is definitely way more fun, but it's nowhere near as fun as like six and five and four. Like their Mercs are in three. All the Mercs before it were way better. But I just think Village is just average. Like I would put it in D if it didn't have a third person mode because I, I really just didn't dig Village like at all like i know the the what is it called the it starts with a b ben, benevito or ben ben the benny the benagram that you know their mansion with the baby and stuff like that like that was cool in the beginning but i i'd prefer not to like that part of the game is is like why i just don't like first person horror games is running away from stuff like outlast i hate that shit and like that whole section as cool as it was like the beginning was really cool when you got all your weapons taken away and you're doing the puzzles with the dolls and stuff like, like I thought that was really cool. Um, but then running from the baby, I was like, this is lame. I'm not digging it. Uh-uh, not me. So that is uh, my ranking on uh, the OGs, Resident Evil 
one through village like i said like village would probably have been a little bit lower if, if it you know didn't have its third person but i i mostly am very fond i think that there's no bad resident evil game like you know one through village i don't think any of them are like oh that's just bad you know what i mean like i don't think it's it's there's anything like that but that's when we get to the spin-offs no we don't do the spin-offs yet we're doing the remakes let's do the remakes okay you guys ready re1 remake goaded probably the greatest remake of all time ever this the gold standard for remakes is resident evil this game is why we have remakes of two three and four because when they re-release this in hd and put it on ps3 and ps4 and stuff like that in xbox that shit was breaking like guinness world records of like most downloaded playstation game of all time and capcom was like i've got an idea and we got re2 and re3 and re4 and it was it was the best so i when i was a kid i got a gamecube specifically for resident evil i worked my ass off to get it and by that i mean i didn't do shit because i used to go with my dad to work to get extra money like i'd be like dad can i go with you to work so i can have a couple extra bucks to buy a gamecube and then i would go and not do anything and he would give me money because <laughs> i'm like i'm like 12 and then i got that and i played it and I, oh man, when I played RE Remake, dude, I thought the game was so hard with the crimson heads. I thought it was so difficult. I was like, why did they make the game so hard? It's so hard. I was, man, I was like sweating and shit. When like there was an EGM magazine that I had that had an article for Resident Evil Remake. It was two pages with one picture of this scene. I think it was this scene and there was another scene of like Chris like shooting a dude. And man, I used to keep that article, like that magazine under my pillow and I would get in bed and I would take it out and I would read the article and look at the pictures and hope that if I did that before I went to bed, I would dream of playing the game so I could play it early. That's how excited I was when I was 12 years old. I would read articles and look at pictures of the game and be like, come on brain, give me some sweet ass dreams, baby, playing Resident Evil. And that was it. That, the rest of the history. This, this, in my opinion, is probably the greatest remake we've ever had, ever, period, any video game. Not even coming from a Resident Evil fan. Just, I think it is the definition of a perfect remake. There are some little things here and there, but I think if, if someone goes, what do you think is a good blueprint for, like, what would make a good remake? And I think that would be a game that you could show them to say, like, here it is, right here. That's it. It's goaded. Oh shit, I just forgot about Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, this game's ass. Give that, put that down there. I guess there is one that's worse than Village at 6. <laughs> I completely forgot about this game. That's how real I hate this game. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. I think it's kind of butt. Hook shot, no item box. I don't like it. I just saw it and remembered. I'm like, damn, I completely missed Zero. We did one through Village. My bad, I messed up. Okay, so there is a game below Village in 6. There you go. I don't think it's the worst, but I don't think it's very good. I lied. There is a game that I don't think is very good. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the room. My bad. Let's get back to the remix. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Do I even have to like explain it? I Okay, so here's what I've got to say about Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's really good. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. It's awesome. I would highly recommend it for people that aren't even into Resident Evil. No, you don't have to play RE1 to know what's happening in RE2. Um, but in my opinion, Resident Evil Remake can replace the OG. Like you can play Resident Evil Remake and get the same exact experience, but better than the original. RE2 Remake, in my opinion, does not take away from original RE2. I feel that they are two, there are games that are different enough that they are two separate experiences that you should experience both. As good as a game as RE2 Remake is, it is not good enough to replace original RE2. And I don't mean that in a bias because re2 is one of my all-time favorite video games of all time i'm not saying it in that way like i genuinely feel that as good as re2 is it is a fucking damn good game but it it's it's a different experience in comparison to re2 if you compare re1 to original re1 you get what my point you get what i'm saying like a, re a remake can replace this game like you, this game could disappear tomorrow and if you still had this it'd be fine but if this disappeared i'd be pretty bummed out about it um and vice versa like if the remake disappeared, I'd be like man, the remake because it's 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 special, it's unique. Like it's similar enough, but definitely not enough to uh, to replace it in my opinion. RE3 remake, I don't know, man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, it's like jumping, it's jumping in between these two. It's super average, but it's also super disappointing. So that's why I put it down here. But then it's average, and that's what a C is to me is just average. Like 
The game's also four hours long, which is bad, but the dodging in the combat is cool. That's a C. It's average. But then, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But is it as good as Zero? It's definitely a game I would never play for fun, which is Zero I would never play for fun. Or Sixer Village. So I don't know. It's, it's jumping. I think I'm going to keep it at C for now. I'm going to keep it at C for right now. And then when, when we review it and think about it, I'll think about it because Resident Evil 3 was very disappointing. But I think my biggest thing with RE3 is that I was not a huge fan of, of original RE3. If I loved RE3, I'd be so fucking mad that this game exists. I'd be so angry. But the thing is, I don't really care for RE3. So that's why when this one came out, I wasn't too bummed out about it being not you know very good um, in comparison to RE2. But I felt more bad for the people that are like RE3 fiends. You guys got shafted. And that sucks. Like, I, I got mega lucky that my favorite game got remade and it's good. So I feel bad for the RE3 fiends. I feel bad. That's really disappointing. That is super disappointing. They took a game that already was supposed to be, like, an expansion to RE2. So it's kind of already kind of half ass, Like, to an extent. Like, it's half a game. Um, it's just RE2, but with, like, extra stuff in it. It's similar, but a little bit quicker, more action-y. You know what I mean? Like, it was 100% made to be an expansion to three uh, to two and then they had a chance to do it again and fix all the wrongs and guess what it didn't happen and that's super disappointing with that fact right there i kind of want to just drop it down the d but the thing is like everybody's expecting it like you know like, the mass majority majority with a v majority the mass majority don't really like this game and i just thought it was just okay with very disappointing elements to it and like when you think about it on a point system it's like oh it's got this but then this, and it's got this, but this, and this, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it at C for now. And then when we review, I'll, I'll think really hard about it. Because, boy, what a disappointing video game. RE4, RE4 remake, huh? Hmm. Is it S plus or is it A? Is it S plus or is it A? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking A. It's good. It's good, but I don't think it's as good as 4. I don't think it's as good as 4. That's just my opinion, though. You may disagree, but there are things about the remake that really, really, like, bum me out and make me angry. And I don't get mad at video games. I pretend to get mad at video games, but I don't. But RE4, there were certain parts in that game that genuinely frustrated me. And not enough to be like, this game sucks and I hate it, but, not enough, but enough for it to not be, like... I have such a hard time explaining what I mean by that. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I really did like it and I really did enjoy it. But there were little things about it that were just really irritating. There are little things about 4 that I really don't like either. Like, the only thing I can think off the top of my head is like the Salazar boss fight. That shit sucks in 4. But you can skip it. You can cheese him with a rocket launcher and move on with your life and continue to enjoy the rest of the game. You could do the same in this one. Um, you can hit him with the egg and you can skip the boss fight. So that's, you know, it has to stay similar to an extent because that boss fight was dick. I did not like the South. I thought it was worse in 4 in Remake 4 than it was in 4. I thought it was way worse. But I think my biggest issue with 4 is getting stunlocked. I really hate the fact that you can get stunlocked and get cheesed and your run is dead because you conveniently got hit with multiple things very quickly in a very short period of time and you die. There's not really much you can do about that. The parry system is it is phenomenal though. It sometimes makes me wish that it was in 4. Like there's just little things about it that keep me from fully 100% like enjoying it. But like I said, it's it's easily like a 9, a 9.5, which is like an A, you know, but I don't I like these games I feel are like 10 plus, you know, like 11 and a half out of 10. And RE4 is really close to being up there, but Remake 4 is just I think I enjoyed the the original a little bit more. Like, I enjoyed the original of RE2, and I enjoyed Remake 2, but, like, I love both of these, like, equally in a different way. Whereas, like, I don't think I like Remake 4 as much as I like original. And so, that's what I think about it. I still enjoy it, and I think it's an awesome game. Like I said, it's like a 9.5, like a 9, 9.5. It's close up there, but there are little things about it that really get under my skin and annoys the shit out of me, and I don't like that that bothers me there goes the remakes um we have like resistance uh i thought resistance low-key was fun 
and very average and cool. But then once people started playing like scumbags, that drops it down to that. But the time that I did have, I played Resistance like five times longer than I played RE3. I guess that makes me drop RE3 down to a D then. <laughs> Because I played, I think I put like 34, 35 hours in Resistance. And I think in RE3, I played it twice. I think I played it, I played it once on on uh, YouTube. And then I played it once on stream. And that was it. Other than all my other times playing RE3 were just me getting like really nice screenshots of Jill. Because I just think she's really pretty. Um, I used like this mod to allow you to control the camera. And I was doing a lot of digital photography with her and Carlos and stuff like that. So I think I have more time doing digital photography in RE3 than I do of actually playing it. But I played a lot of Resistance and I thought it was a lot of fun. I didn't think it was good, but I thought it was fun. So I'll I, I'll put it right that, put it right. You know, I might even think of putting that in right there because I did think that was a lot of fun. Resistance was a lot of fun. It was until people started learning how to be scumbags and it sucked all the fun out of the game. But until that point, I was I thought it was pretty cool. So I, th I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that, Loki. We have reverse. Ugh. Boy. I enjoyed it and thought it was fun, but it was awful. Like, there's no fight in that one. We have no B tier Resident Evil games. Five is the only B tier. <laughs> reverse is kind of dicky. I don't know, dude. I thought it was fun. I don't know, because now I look at Umbrella Core. This one will be D. Umbrella Core is a fucking F. No, we can't do that yet. That's a that's a spin-off. Shh, spoilers. Never mind. Reverse is going to be a D2. I'm going to put that up there. Because F is like... I think I'm going to keep F as a category for like Resident Evil games that like I look forward to never playing again. Ever. There we go. We got our 1 through 7, 0 through 7, and our remakes. Now it is time for the side games. You guys ready? So we're going to go from left to right. Code Veronica, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Boy, what a video game. What a video game. You guys ready for the controversial take? You guys ready? Because I, I hate this game so much. I can't stand it. I played it as a kid and I didn't like it. I played it as an adult and I didn't like it. And then I tried to play it earlier this year and I was, I hated it. I, I don't like this game. I find it extremely frustrating and unfun. I am not a fan. I do not think it's a very fun game. Especially, there's just so much annoying shit in it. I just, ugh. Like when you get to the to Alaska and the only save room is by like moths that can just randomly like poison you and you have to constantly run past that area to go save or to go to your box. Like the, why would they put that there? That's so irritating. Why would they put that there? The only thing that I like about this game is the fact that there are zombies with night vision goggles and I thought that was the funniest shit ever. Zombies walking around with night vision. Just imagine, can you imagine how elite zombies would be walking around in pitch black with Sam Fisher goggles? Just that image alone made me laugh very hard and I thought it was cool. But everything else, like I just do not, I don't like this game. Um, I don't like it. I know there are other people that I really enjoy it and they, and they like it and I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't think you have bad taste. I have nothing bad to say to you and I'm glad that you enjoy it and I hope you get your remake. I hope you do, and I hope they don't botch that shit like they did 3. But, in my opinion, Resident Evil Code Veronica is a game that I just can't stand it. I don't like it. The Final Boss sucks dick. The Nosferatu sucks dick. The Tyrant on the... The Tyrant on the ship is balls. Like, when you're flying the plane. Isn't there a scene where, like... Like, Steve tries to kiss Claire while she's, like, sleeping? Like, there's so much shit in this game that I just, I just don't like it. Like, it's... I don't know. I would recommend playing it once and making your own opinion of it. The game is pretty long too. In my opinion, I think it's one of the longest traditional Resident Evil games. I don't consider four traditional. I mean, out of like one, two, and three, that one's by far is like the longest. I think my first playthrough that was like 18 hours or something like that. And that shit felt like it was never going to end. So I kept getting lost because like the area is kind of huge and everything looks the same. Like I just don't, I just don't dig it. But that's just me. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan. Not a fan. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. That's another game that I, I don't think... I don't really like that game either. I think I'm gonna give it a D. The, there's like a lot of really bad shaky cam in this game that like makes me just feel sick. Like, can you imagine playing a rail shooter where like the game is... Your like head is bobbing left and white... White? Left and right just constantly or swinging. Like, you feel like you're like dodging like... You're doing like Dempsey rolls and shit when you're playing this game and it just makes me feel sick. 
So like I physically just cannot play this game. <laughs> Like, oh man, it's like, it's got a cool retelling of RE2 in it. And I think Code Veronica, right? I think 2 and Code Veronica are in this game. And then it's got the extra side story, the Operation Javier with Krauser and Leon, which is cool too. Which I wish they would, you know, make a, a big boy real video game about that instead of a rail shooter. I'd be down to play it, but yeah, I'm not a, I don't know. I'm thinking about either like D or F because like, this, for a Wii game, this game also had really good graphics. It looked really nice. And that's like the redesign of Claire where they gave her like booty shorts and cowboy boots that you see her in a lot. That's from this game. Um, but yeah, this game is really sucky to play. I wonder if it's better on PlayStation. They like ported this to PlayStation to use the controller, the move. And I, I wonder if it's any better. I had it on the Wii and it was awful. It was terrible. Mercenaries 3D for the 3DS. That game is terrible. It's pretty bad. Um, it's not very fun to play because the controls are awful. Uh, the frame rate is disgusting and you can only have one save file on that game. So if you bought it used, oh well. I think you had to like mod it to like delete the save file if you want to start over and that's pretty bad. I did buy this game and I played it like twice and I, I think I got rid of it. I don't know. I'll have to check to see if it's still in like my boxes and stuff, but I think I got rid of it. That game was hot ass. It was terrible. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I think this game is average. It's pretty bad, but it is average. Because it is another one of those examples of a game that like, if you got someone else to play with, it's really not all that bad. It's still pretty bad, but it's not all that bad. That's what I would say about Operation Raccoon City. But then when I think about it, like would I rather play Operation Raccoon City over zero and three? No, I'd rather play zero and three over Operation Raccoon City. So when I put it that way, I think I'm gonna drop that bad boy in D. Because I would gladly, if someone said, you wanna play Operation Raccoon City or you wanna play Zero? I'd be like, fuck it, fire up Resident Evil Zero. That game's awful. The multiplayer was funny though. I used to play a lot of Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City's multiplayer. I thought it, it's, it, it was terrible, but I thought it was a lot of fun. The multiplayer, everyone was super bullet spongy, but melee hits were a one hit kill. So everyone is just charging each other and meleeing each other. That was the game's multiplayer. Funny, huh? It's not funny, it sucks. So my the fun that I had with this game is there was a game mode in Operation Raccoon City where uh, you, it would be two teams of four and they would fight and every time you would die, your respawn timer would be longer and longer while you're fighting. Eventually a single helicopter would land in a specific spot and it only had four seats on it, but there are eight people and anyone can take a seat on the helicopter. It was some of the funniest shit ever, dude. I would always play Beltran, I think his name was. It was the guy that had the mines and I would stick mines all over the the helicopter and then get in the helicopter. It'd be so many people running up to get on the helicopter and they just explode and it kills them in one hit. That was some of the funniest shit ever. But that was the only game mode that was fun. Every other game mode was terrible. It was absolutely awful. Um, that was the only one that was fun. Everything else was pretty bad, so I guess I'll bring it down there and then playing this game i remember streaming this game with friends years and years and years ago we played like the hardest difficulty and like it you there'd be like a liquor that you'd shoot and it would use literally all of your ammo because on hard mode everyone is a not even it's not even a bullet sponge it's like a bullet planet they absorb they have gravitational uh, they they just eat the bullets and you you have to like refill your max ammo like four times to kill like a liquor it was terrible it was absolutely terrible Awful. Disgusting. Resident Evil Revelation. <laughs> now we're getting to the real stinkers, huh? We're getting to the real shit. I mean, this isn't real bad. This is another one that I'm like a little on the fence about. See, I don't think this game is bad, but I don't like it. And every time I look at how many hours I have in this game on Steam, I it bums me out because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, dude, why do, why do I have so many hours in this game? I don't even like this game. And like, that's why like, well, no, dude, it's so difficult. That's another one of those, like, would you rather play zero or three? And like, maybe this game was even worse than the 3DS. Cause I had big giant, like grown man hands on that tiny baby 3DS. But when they put it on console, it was pretty legit. I just didn't like it. And they made Jill, they, they made Jill just hella juicy in her wetsuit. The final boss in that game sucks, sucks, man. I hated it. The final boss in Revelations was not fun. Where he was like just a teleporting tyrant that can like clone and turn invisible. That shit was ass. 
I don't know, man. That's just one boss, though. That's a tough one. I'll have to think about that one. I might drop it. I might drop it. <laughs> Resident Evil 5 holding the holding the throne is B game of the millennia. We got Resident Evil Survivor. I've played this game a lot, but I've never finished it. And I just think it's okay. I know this game is only like an hour long, um, but I've never beaten it. But I've played it quite a lot as a kid, and I thought it was cool. I don't think I've ever actually played this game as an adult. I just remember playing it as a kid and be like, this is cool, and I never beat it. I guess I would just get lost and give up because it's a little bit different. It's very different. It's like a, it's a rail shooter, but not really. No, it isn't because a rail shooter means you'd be on a rail and you're not on a rail. It's a first person shooter, but you just don't see your gun. You have a cursor on the screen, kind of like a rail shooter. And you run around and you fight dudes in night vision goggles that make jaguar noises. Funny, huh? It sounds weird when you talk about it out loud, but yeah. In Resident Evil Survivor, you fight like these like commando guys that when you kill them, they make jaguar noises and shit. I don't know. All right, outbreak. Oh boy. B? There we go. The, the king has a queen, huh? RE5. <laughs> outbreak? Yeah, outbreak, I'm a little. I'm a little iffy on that one too. This was another game that I was really, really hyped for. Uh, like Resident Evil 1, I would I had a magazine that had Resident Evil Outbreak in it and I would read the articles all the time. The articles were so cool because they were written in a way of it being like, you know, Kevin, the main, like pretty, I consider Kevin the main character of Outbreak. It, it's like Kevin's journal. There were like these articles in EGM Magazine that they, it was like two or three pages long where it was written in, journal format of Kevin's point of view of what's happening and reading about that made me imagine what this game was like because I've only ever seen screenshots because this was back in the day before YouTube and shit like this so there was no way for you to see how games were you had to either play the demos or see commercials on the internet like on the internet on TV and there was no commercial for this game on my TV I never I, I don't you know they're not going to put a commercial for Resident Evil on kids WB and shit like that so I would read about it and imagine what this game was about and get super excited. And then I got it and I was not disappointed. It was so much fun. The problem, here's the problem with Outbreak that I think is more of a me problem. I got stuck in the second stage, is it called Below Freezing Point? I got stuck in Below Freezing Point because my PlayStation was broken. So you can't save when you play the stages in Outbreak. You can save, but it'll quit. Like it's kind of like a quick save. So you can save and then leave, but when you come back, it deletes your, deletes your save. And my PlayStation would freeze and crash at the end of below freezing point. And I had to play that over. Like I would go and try to use like the alcohol on the Q-tip to clean my laser, have to play through below freezing point again for that bitch to freeze again. And I have to play it again over and over and over again. So all I could play was the first stage of Outbreak that I enjoyed. And that first stage is I, I could play that first stage in Outbreak over and over again. Eventually, I ended up getting another PlayStation months later, and I beat below freezing point, and then I got to the hotel, and I thought the hotel was awful. So, and I think that's where as far as I got. I think I got to the final boss in four, not four, uh, in the third stage with the hotel, and uh, I died, and I never played the levels again. I just went back and played the first one, and I played this game online all the time, too, and people were fiending, bro. Oh, man, after 9 p.m., they would turn on, like, friendly fire, and everyone would just be killing each other. And like, you have to pick a girl because people will think like, if you pick a girl, you're a girl and they'd be nice to you. So I would run Alyssa so people wouldn't fucking shoot me. Like, cause I like playing as Kevin and Mark and the dude that looks like Dennis Rodman that I can't think of his name, Jim. I like playing as them, but they would fucking shoot me. So I started playing Alyssa and I wouldn't get killed. I'd play Alyssa and Cindy. So it's, but I, I love the idea and concept of Outbreak. And I think now with how online gaming is much better because back then it was pretty ass it was pretty janky and it was pretty doo-doo and i think outbreak would work wonderfully today like a new one i guess we could get like a remake or whatever but i i usually don't like asking for remakes like, i think getting like a brand new 2020 whenever outbreak game would be phenomenal i would really like that resident Evil outbreak file 2 i did not like it anywhere as near as the original um so i'm gonna give that an average I still played it a lot. I didn't like it, but I played it a lot. Um, the cover about the cover box alone, I would just stare at for hours. I thought that just you gotta Google it. I'm sure you've seen the cover of Outbreak File Two. Google it and look at the box art. That's some good shit. That's some good shit. I love the box art for this game, but I didn't like it that much. 
You know why? I didn't like that each stage had some kind of gimmick to it and you couldn't just fight zombies and escape from them. Like, the first stage was like a fucking zombie zoo. Like, I don't want to be in no damn zombie zoo. Z zombies? And then, like, the second stage is what? Like, you're, like, in the underground and there's just giant fleas and ticks and roaches and shit. And then, like, the third stage is, like, the leech man. You're running from the leech man the whole game. That shit sucked. Like, I just didn't like any of the levels. But in this game, you got to play uh, whatever level you wanted. While in this one, you had to unlock each scenario one by one. This one, I think all four or five scenarios I had, you can play whenever you want and pick them. Um, but I personally, I just didn't. I didn't think it was very fun. I didn't think it was anywhere as fun as the first one. I think this game came out as a budget game too, File 2. I believe this game came out at 20 bucks. I remember buying it on release day and it was only like $20. Um, you know, being like 16 or whatever and not having any money. I was like, oh, thank the Lord. Hell yeah. Resident Evil Gaiden, I've never played, but I hear it's awful. I've heard nothing, no good things about Resident Evil Gaiden. So we should just stick it in F. I've never played it. I've watched people play it and it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone I've talked to that has played it say it's terrible. So we just stick it in the F? We should say it's a, it's F tier by second hand? I guess. I don't know. Should we leave it? I'm going to leave it in F. Fuck that game. <laughs> All right. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. I guess that'll be... That's the princess. We got the king and the queen and the princess. I actually really like Umbrella Chronicles. This game gave me nightmares when I was a kid. Because I was stuck on the... Uh, the yawn boss fight for like four hours. I don't know why, my aim was just super fucking bad. And he would bite you and the screen would get blurry and it was giving me a headache. And then I went to bed and I had dreams that I was still fighting him. I don't mean nightmares like he scared me. I mean nightmares like I still had to play this damn game while I'm sleeping and I hated it. Just that boss fight, the, the yawn boss fight in this game. Besides that, I enjoyed this quite a bit. And I think it's much better than Dark Side Chronicles. Um, I would recommend it. It's a Wii game though, so you gotta, it's questionable. Um, but they did do HD remakes, or not remakes, HD uh, remasters or ports of Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles on PS3 only. Uh, and I believe they're digital only too, so um, it's kind of a bitch to buy stuff digitally on the PS3. But I like that game. I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think it's above average um, and it's cool. I think the only problem it has is that it's stuck on the Wii. I guess the PlayStation now. PlayStation 3. Digital only, though. Umbrella Core, this game is dog shit. This game is awful. This is one of the worst video games I've played in my life. Up there. Top five. Some of the worst games I've ever played. That game is really bad. It's a multiplayer online only. This is like Capcom's response to trying to get into, like, e like eSports third-person shooters. And it just it was just bad. It was terrible. I even got... I was so hyped for this game because I thought it was going to be fun. I even got, like, the Deluxe Edition. It was, like, $40. And I played like two games of it and I was like, this is not it. This is hell no. I was so bummed out that I paid $40 for this video game. It's really bad. And a fun fact about this game is they made an extremely limited physical run of these games and they're stupidly expensive. Last I checked, they were stupidly expensive. So if you don't, if you don't believe me, I probably wouldn't believe me either. But Google it. Look up price charting of Umbrella Core. I hear that physicals of this bad boy is fat and nasty. Which is kind of crazy because I don't even think you can play this shit anymore. Because I think it does have a single player. It's just like, I think it does have a single player. Do you have to play it online? Why would you want to play it anyway? It's bad. Resident Evil Dead Aim, I think, is an average video game. I've only played like an hour, an hour and a half of it, and I thought it was okay. I never beat it, and I would like to do a playthrough of this on YouTube. I would like my first full playthrough to be on YouTube. This was definitely an idea I've had for a very long time to play this. Um, and then maybe when I finish it, it, it might be like, oh, I thought that was kind of cool. Boop, put it on the B. But I thought it was okay. Um, it's like on par with Survivor. I think it's it's literally, I believe Dead Aim is just like a spiritual sort of successor, I guess. Because Survivor actually has a Survivor 2. Uh, it's an arcade game and it's pretty bad. Uh, it's called Gun Survivor 2. It's pretty awful. It was arcade only and I would not recommend it. I played it one time in theaters when I went to go see the movie RV with Robin Williams for one of my best friend's birthdays at the at the mall at the movie theater. And it was god awful. And I'm glad that's not on this list. <laughs> I think that game's on PS2 only in Japan also. But we did have an arcade machine for Survivor 2 and it was pretty bad. Dead Aim is just a con it's just PS2 Survivor. It's a little bit better. I think it's fun. It's all right. I it's it's a perfect C game to me. It's just it's average. And I haven't completed it yet so who knows it, it might get better or worse 
but as what I played, the hour, hour and a half that I played the game, I thought it was okay. Revelations 2, huh? I guess well, there are more bees, huh? That's the, the prince. We got the queen, the king. No, the, yeah, the king, the queen, the prince, and the princess. Resident Evil Revelations 2 is definitely much better than Revelations 1. I might even think it's A. Hmm. I think if this game had online co-op, it'd be an A. It does have co-op. Playing as the co-op partner when you play as, like, uh, like Barry's daughter, I can't think of her name at the moment. She only used, like, a crowbar. That shit was kind of lame. But you still could play it. And, uh, it had co-op, but it was only co-op split-screen. You could not play it online unless you, like, parsec it through Steam. Or use, like, the Steam thing or whatever. That's the only way you'd be able to play that online. But, um, with Resident Evil 2 Revelations... Yeah, I don't know. I never played the raid mode. I hear a lot of people say that the raid mode was off the chain, but I've never played it. I don't think I've played a moment of raid mode because I didn't have any interest in it. I just, I heard it was good. I just never played it. I played the story mode and I thought it was cool. And they released this game episodic because this was around the time when The Walking Dead came out and companies thought that, man, people are throwing Buku's amount of money at, at Telltale for The Walking Dead because it's episodic, not because the game's good, because it's episodic. So RE2, Re like Resident Evil Revelations 2 was episodic and it was such a mess, dude. I remember like not even like being able to download it and it didn't work. They released the game like it was completed, but they released each episode like once a week on a Tuesday or a Monday or something. And I had it on PlayStation because the PlayStation store updated no, it updated later. I don't remember. I think it was Xbox that updated at midnight and then PlayStation updated at like 1 p.m. on Tuesday. This was back when games came out on Tuesday because now games usually come out on Fridays. I don't know. When I think about it, it might be an A, but I think I'm going to keep it in B for now because I, I did like this game and I thought it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed the story. It's definitely a game that I, I have a couple of hours in because I think I've played through this game twice. Um, and when I look at the time, I'm not disgusted. Like I, when I look at the time for Revelations 1, when I see how many hours I put in Revelations 1, I gag. I'm like, oh, I played, I stomached that game that long. Why did I play this game for 80 hours? Why? I don't even play games I like for 80 hours. Why do I have 80 hours in this game? That's how I feel when I look at Revelations 1. I'm like, ugh, ugh. All right, ladies and gentle thugs, this right here is the ultimate Resident Evil tier list by me of course yours truly um now that i take a quick skim i think i'm pretty happy there's a couple that i might move like i'm thinking about revelations 2 being an a maybe um thinking of dunking revelations 1 now the more that i think about it i want to dunk that lower because of, like with the concept i was thinking about before like would i rather play zero revelations 1 that's a close one that's you know i don't know that's like a dice roll depends on how i'm feeling that day but that's it. Let me know what you guys think. What is your tier list on your favorite Resident Evil games? Remember, no one is wrong. It's uh, everyone's opinion. It's just what I prefer and what I like. And I'd love to hear what you prefer and what you like. If you do end up doing the tier list yourself, I'll have the link in the description so that you can make your tier list. And I would love to see what you end up choosing. Just take a screenshot of it or click save or download and send it to me on Twitter, which is in the description of the video. I would love to see it or just let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for listening to me ramble about Resident Evil for 55 minutes or longer. Um, we're going to get back to normal videos. I was thinking of some other stuff. I saw some like, who's your, like you, a questionnaire that lets you pick like who's your, you know, who, who what Resident Evil character are you? I was thinking of doing a video about that because I always find those like questionnaires really funny. So I think that'll be a fun thing to do. I'm trying to have some fun here. Remember, that's why we do this in the first place too enjoy ourselves and uh it's a lot of fun i just noticed that i forgot the time in the top left corner like i always do well at least you know what time it is outside of the fact that it says it right here <laughs> i forgot that i put the time up here too shit i just noticed that an hour later whatever all right thanks for hanging out with me kisses you know homie smooches hope you guys have a wonderful beautiful day an awesome night an amazing afternoon i'll see you guys next time bye